There's something magical about fireflies. On warm summer nights, they flicker across fields and forests like tiny floating lanterns, a natural light show, mysterious and mesmerizing. For many of us, fireflies are part of childhood memories. But increasingly, those memories aren't being passed on because the fireflies are vanishing. And this time, it's not just our imagination. Across the globe, scientists have been tracking a quiet collapse. Many species of fireflies or lightning bugs are in serious decline. Some may even be on the path to extinction. And the reasons why paint a familiar and troubling picture. First, a quick refresher. Fireflies aren't flies at all, they're beetles. There are over 2,000 species worldwide each with its own flash pattern and mating rhythm. Most spend the majority of their lives as larvae underground or in wet environments, feeding on snails and slugs. When they finally emerge, they have just a few short weeks to mate before they die. That glowing light, the one we associate with summer nights, is their way of finding each other. But in the age of endless artificial light, they're getting drowned out. Light pollution is now one of the biggest threats to fireflies. Streetlights, headlights, backyard LEDs, they scatter light in all directions and wash out the dark background fireflies depend on to communicate. If their flashes can't be seen, they can't find mates. No mating means no eggs. No eggs, no future generation. But it's not just the brightness of our nights that's hurting them. It's also what we're doing to their homes. Fireflies need moist, undisturbed habitats to survive. But those environments, forest edges, wetlands, meadows, are being paved over, drained, or turned into chemically treated lawns and farms. When their underground larval homes disappear, so do the fireflies that would have emerged. Add climate change into the mix, and the problem only grows. Rising temperatures and unpredictable seasons are disrupting the timing of firefly life cycles. In some areas, fireflies are flashing earlier or later than normal, and sometimes missing their mating window altogether. According to researchers, over a third of firefly species are now at risk, and some, especially those with very specific habitat needs, could vanish entirely within our lifetime. But it's not too late, and the solutions start surprisingly close to home. You can help by reducing unnecessary outdoor lighting. Use motion sensors, shield your bulbs, choose warmer colors. Fireflies need the dark, not total silence, just the ability to shine without interference. Avoid pesticides and herbicides in your yard or garden. Leave some wild patches of grass or even a log pile. These microhabitats offer shelter to the larvae and food for their future. Support local conservation efforts, especially those that protect wetlands and forests. And if you're lucky enough to live in an area where fireflies still survive, take note. Report sightings to citizen science projects. Every bit of data helps researchers understand where fireflies are surviving and where they're disappearing. Because the truth is, fireflies aren't just a part of our memories. They're also indicators of environmental health. When they disappear, it means something bigger is out of balance. At Forever Green, we believe that beauty like this is worth protecting. If you want early access to our videos, behind the scenes content, and deeper conversations about nature and sustainability, join our exclusive YouTube community. It's where our most passionate viewers go to take the next step. The flicker of a firefly is small, but it's powerful, and it's not too late to keep that light alive.